this from? How long did you know? A long time. How many years would that be? I'd say about um, two and a half, three years. How did you meet? Um, <laughs> on a beach somewhere. Uh, what do you think of Miss Krenwinkel's chances of defending herself? Look, chances? Yeah, what kind of a job do well, you Well, there is a, some, some question as to whether they're going to let her, which I don't understand at all. Um, I think that uh, she's very capable of defending herself. She speaks well. She's, um, um, it's the only thing she can do. I believe that, that a person should speak for themselves. When you say that she speaks well, how do you mean? What's your experience done with her? Well, she's, she's, uh, she's articulate. She's, um, clear. And, um... What does she like to talk about? Is she a philo philosophizer, that kind of a girl? She's a girl, huh? She's a beautiful girl. She is. She helps with anything, you know. She, she, um, cleans up, you know, and cooks and does things that girls do. Yeah. What, what things does she like to talk about? like to talk about. You know, like about life or she death like to, or... She likes to pet animals. She's written some beautiful letters which I would like everybody to see. She talks about, um, she sent us some letters saying that she was sending kisses in the rain drops to us. And just, she's a very delicate woman. Yeah. And, um... Was she, uh, were these letters from, uh, when she was in Alabama? Yeah. She, um... Well, it's the only thing she can do is defend herself. I well, believe that. Well, why do you think she decided to do that? Do you know why she decided, perhaps? I, I would, if I was her. So I, you know, I imagine that she just uh, knows that innocence speaks for itself. You know, truth comes from the voice at this moment. And, um, that's all. Um, I don't, I don't understand how the judge can, can question allowing her to, uh, her, her right to counsel of her choice.